Science helps us figure out what to do when we're faced with evolving ecosystem challenges, like the introduction of the invasive European green crab into the Salish Sea. And the Sea Doc Society is proud to present the Salish Sea Science Prize to a group of scientists that allowed us to address that invasion, Washington Sea Grant's European Green Crab Prevention Team. Congratulations. Thank you, Joe. I can't tell you how truly humbled and grateful we are to be recognized with this award. And I say we because this award really belongs to an enormous team of people who are committed to the idea that it's worth working really hard to protect the Salish Sea from invasion by European green crabs. In 2014, Jeff Adams, Kate Lytle, Sean McDonald, and I had the privilege to get to dream up a program where we could put everything we know about green crabs and community science to work to detect the earliest stages of an invasion. We put that knowledge and robust ecological sampling techniques into the hands of volunteers and partners to build Washington Sea Grant Crab Team. Collaborative science to protect marine shorelines is the most essential core value of Crab Team. And now many people know this, but Crab Team is not only the name of our team, but a pretty accurate acronym uh, of a program description. And that's community researchers assisting biologists through estuarine aquatic monitoring. In the past few years, through volunteer and partner efforts, We've detected what are likely some of the very founding individuals of this potential invasion, the very first cohorts to arrive on Washington's inland shorelines, and in relatively small numbers. This is an early detection win, a rare opportunity in invasion, invasion management, and so now I hope we can take advantage of this unprecedented opportunity both to manage the invasion effectively and to learn as much as we can along the way. Though, of course, it's unfortunate that we're facing invasion by one of the most pervasive and damaging invasive species in the planet, I actually do believe that we're in a uniquely well-suited situation to be more effective at managing green crabs here in the Salish Sea than has historically been the case. And there are three reasons for this. First, the effort has been proactive, largely thanks to the leadership of Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife in partnering with Sea Grant to launch Crab Team before there was any evidence that green crabs were present. Second, the effort is massively collaborative, partnering with hundreds of community members and dozens of tribal agency shellfish grower partners to manage the thousands of miles of shoreline on both sides of the border. And third, the effort is adaptive and science-based. Science and learning are at the core of Crab Team. From the systematic data collection across the monitoring network to collaborations with really talented uh, research partners, every green crab we find is one we try to learn as much as possible from. And this is extending from learning how the oceanography of our region enables or limits larval dispersal into and around the Salish Sea with Elizabeth Brasile at UW Oceanography, to ex exploration of cutting edge population genetics work with Carolyn Teeple at Woods Hole. The science quest, of course, is ongoing and we have more ideas for collaborations and projects than we have time to address them, but stay tuned for updates on an eDNA assay, investigations into the parasites of green crabs, and even more genetics work that will look at how temperature might be influencing the spread of green crabs on our coast. So as most of us, myself included, are stuck at home right now, you can imagine how volunteers and partners are chomping at the bit to get out there and do the work they both need and want to do. While the current disruptions come at a particularly challenging time in the trajectory of management of European green crab in our region, the global pandemic has also given everyone a new way to understand why successful invasion management depends on early detection and rapid response. Invasion science has long told us that intervention is most critical and most effective before we even see the impacts of an invasion. So I'm actually hopeful that a new collective awareness will fuel ongoing management efforts. So all of this is to say a heartfelt and generous thank you to the CDOC Society for recognizing the work of this very large team 
And a very humble thank you from me to all of the volunteers and partners who are so dedicated and so committed um, to, to managing this invasion and to uh, working with us to learn everything we can. You make this a true crab team. Thank you.